Look, they got cookies, level one, two, three. Wake and bake specials. Look, one gram lemon cheesecake, super silver haze. And they have plants like this just everywhere. Nepal? Oh, you're from Nepal. But uh, I live in, uh, I was born in Myanmar. Oh, okay. Nepal. My face look like Indian, no? No, no, I think, I think Nepali. Yeah, Nepali is different. And it's nice that you can come in here and have like a personal feel, just open up all the jars, talk to the people. In California, you can't do it like this. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Thailand. Now today I'm talking to you guys from one of my favorite islands in the country, Koh Tao. And this here is known as Green Island. And you might be asking yourself, why is that called Green Island nowadays, Chris? Well, simply look around, guys. There is green that can be found absolutely everywhere. And as you guys know, this here is legalized now in Thailand. So you find this pretty much everywhere around the country. And in many parts of this island, there are cannabis shops absolutely everywhere, selling everything from, you know, items you can eat to items you can smoke. So today, I'm gonna take you guys around and I'm gonna show you the green island here in Thailand. Now look at this little bad boy right here. This one here, hello. This one here looks quite impressive. Now, I know that a lot of you guys might not be into the green and that is perfectly fine. However, um, this is still gonna be a super cool video because I'm gonna show you guys the island vibes here in Koh Tao. And of course, talk to you guys a little bit about all of this stuff that you're gonna be seeing a lot of here in Thailand as of right now. Now, it actually looks like it might start raining here soon. Looks like a storm might be rolling in, but that is perfectly fine because we got time to kill. And I have a feeling that we can get into a lot before the storm starts coming on in. Now, I've been hanging out on Kotel for the last week. This is actually where I'm coming with the group trip here in a few weeks. I actually spend most of my time. Hello. Hello. I actually spend most of my time when I'm in Kotel always at La Bombona Dive Center, one of my favorite dive centers on the island and a place that I have fallen in love with over the years. You can actually see me wearing their shirt right now. And if you're planning on coming to Kotel and you want to dive, I'll leave a link for you down below where you can save yourself a a pretty penny on your diving trips here on the island. Now, right now, what time is it? Right now, it's actually four in the evening, in the afternoon. And this is when the, the island really starts to come to life. During the day, a lot of times people spend their entire days just diving, um, you know, doing all kinds of water sports. But at night, this island gets crazy. I mean, there's parties absolutely everywhere, pub crawls. It's a fun time. So yeah, you'll be able to see a little bit of that here in this video today. Oh, this is lottery. Hello. How much? 110 baht. 110 baht. And how much money? What's the price? How much bots can you win? Thai people love lottery. For how much baht? 3,006, 36,000 baht. Wow, okay, what's the price? 100 baht? 110 baht. 110 baht, okay, one. Cup and cup, yes, one. Here you go. Cup and cup. Right now, rain, huh? The rain is coming. Thank you. Oh, I get to choose the lucky one. Okay, okay. Let me see which one you like. This one lucky? Okay. For you. For you. Good luck. Good luck. It's good luck for you. <laughs> I just wanted to buy that ticket for you. Can you tell her? It's, it's for you. Good luck. I hope you win. <laughs> I love doing stuff like that all the time. Every time I see people selling lottery tickets, I always just buy, buy one from them and then give it to them. 
it makes me happy and you know it makes them happy as well so yeah here in Kotel along the um, beaches right now we're actually on the Sari beach area which is the most popular beach here on the island and here you're gonna find a lot of restaurants cafes massage parlors like this one here a lot of um, uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned cafes bars there's a lot going on here in this area you're gonna find sushi places and of course plenty of weed shops like this one here the pharmacy wow that's actually a very catchy name huh and they accept Bitcoin what I find super interesting here on the island is that nine months ago when I was here weed wasn't found anywhere and for all of you guys who are familiar with Asian culture and Thai culture a few years ago if you got caught with a joint here on the island or anywhere in Thailand you were in some severe problems however right now that is not the case I mean look at this they got advertisements everywhere from our farm 50 grams Thai bricks only 1500 bots look they got cookies level one two three wake and bake specials look one gram lemon cheesecake super silver haze and they have plants like this just everywhere <laughs> hello how's it going bro oh man just showing people Kotel and how awesome it is yo this is sick huh is this your shop you manage it you got anything good that I can get right now um I'll take a cookie oh man level level one I think bro to be fair I think level one's gonna do oh Brom oh you got the brownies too so there's level one, two, and three. Yeah. You know, I haven't, I haven't been smoking much recently, guys. Um, actually, since the Jamaica series, I hadn't been smoking. But you know what? I think a nice, ooh. I don't want to be a level one kind of guy. Oh, so yeah, I think, at least level two, bro. Level two, right? Okay. Let me get a level two brownie, bro. Appreciate you. So yeah, look at the um, the menu. We strongly recommend only eating half and waiting an hour. I always recommend that to people, like. You never want to just chow down on a full brownie or a full edible in general because you never know what it's going to do to you. But yeah, look at this place. It's super awesome. Looks like a nice place to come and enjoy some nightlife as well. Last night we were actually at the Cabaret Show, which takes place up there. And man, such a good time. Hey, thank you, bro. Oh man, this looks bomb. Oh, and there's a little boba sticker on there. I like, I like it, I like stuff, it. Yeah. Where are you from, bro? Oh, England. Huh? England. Awesome. All right. There you go, bro. One minute, buddy. Oh, that's too much. Thank you, bro. We're good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure? Yeah, we're good, bro. Oh, Enjoy. Only eat half. Time. I'm only going to eat half. You know what? Let's... 15 minutes and then eat the other half, man. 15 minutes, that's 50, it. 50, 50, okay, 15, yeah, I was about to say 15. 15 man. All right, so this is what it looks like, guys. Look, we got to do a smell test because sometimes you got to... It has to be a good brownie too, you know what I'm saying? Good brownie, nice good brownie. Yo, that smells like a pretty damn good brownie, all right. Oh man, I'm starting this video at the wrong time. The storm's coming. All right. Good luck. To be fair, it's a pretty damn good brownie. Thank you, Keeping moist. <laughs> mm. But that's it, because sometimes they sneak up on you and it yeah, kicks your ass. Like, you know, give it, give it 15 minutes. Man. Okay. Appreciate you, you man. Oh, uh, nice journey, bud. You too. Pretty damn good brownie, though. All right. Well, the rain's coming on in, so let's start this walk because even if it starts pouring right now, the show must continue. The filming is gonna happen whether it whether it rains or shines here in Kotel. Now, another thing that really makes this island interesting is the amount of wow. Look, another shop tattoo shops oh no power just went out <laughs> that's something that happens too on the island a lot man the storm's rolling on in but like i said i waited all day to make this video because during the day it's everything's pretty chill there's not much going on so i wanted to take my time before tuning on in but i might be paying for it now yeah definitely might be paying for it all right well let's continue let's just um see where this evening takes us with the rain but yeah here on the main streets of kotal there's basically one road that connects the entire island it's this one here and it does a full lap 
but along this road you're gonna find many like bike rental places places that rent scooters you're gonna find gas stations a lot of souvenir spots and wow, the doggo is going crazy and there's only one um like fast food chain here on the island that you guys have probably heard of before and that's dairy queen the dairy queen is found right there in front of me i don't know how the gopro is doing in this with this quality right now but the dairy queen is basically the only fast food chain you're gonna find here on the island as of right now oh man it's starting to come down you know i was expecting it to like sprinkle drizzle a little bit but it's pouring and it's okay you know what it's perfectly fine why not we needed a little bit of adventure in our life to be fair weather has been quite nice the entire trip now i actually stepped foot into this place the other day green island this is another like dispensary here on the island and they got all kinds of deals like you can find um promotions like buy three get one free buy 10 get three free the best 420 the best weeds in kotal hello it's raining only for a little bit though huh the rain it seems to only hang out for like 20 30 minutes here on the island you know what why don't we do some souvenir shopping i'm gonna do souvenir shopping now is this your shop no i just work here you just work here where are you from i'm from myanmar you're from myanmar from yangon no in me yeah i want to go one day yeah but now i have a problem to go later later huh in a few years where are you from u.s california i like your necklace Thank very beautiful you. Well, can I have a look? Of course. Thank you. Let me take my shoes off. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. She said I can wear my shoes. Here in Thailand, everyone takes the shoes off before going inside. In in your country, the same way? Yeah. Same Myanmar. Same Myanmar. Wow. Yeah. What do you speak in Myanmar? What language? Myanmar language. Myanmar language. And how do you say um, thank you? Jisutemale. Jisutemale. Appreciate you. Yeah all right let's have a little souvenir shopping adventure then guys why not this is what you do in thailand when it's raining on the green island i'm actually looking for some tank tops because i'm heading to phuket wow this one looks cool that is very nice what is this patagonia tank top wow that looks nice if you guys have ever been to thailand let me know what was your favorite island here in the country Koh Tao is definitely my favorite. I've visited many different locations around the world and I've been here, I've been coming to Koh Tao for many years now. Uh, my first visit to Koh Tao was in 2017 actually and so much has changed since then. Um, now, the reason why I wanted to make this video was because I wanna show you guys how diverse this island is and how much can actually be found here because it's actually quite impressive. I want a tank top. These ones here look a little bit too flimsy for me. Like you got the iconic chain tank tops. I would like something that says Koh Tao. I'm actually on the hunt for some postcards as well too. Maybe we'll be able to buy them here in this video to send out to some of you guys. What's this one? Love me, the classy issue. Oh, that's nice. That's definitely like a Thai size though. All right, this one here looks pretty good too. Koh Tao, you got some palm trees, a turtle. Beautiful shop, huh? Of course, you got like all the elephant print stuff that all the people love to buy when they come to Thailand, backpacks, things like that. You know what? Let's purchase something though, because we are walking through here. Do you have tank talks like this that say Koh Tao? Koh Tao? Yes. This one, no? And it's not the same, yeah, only like this. Only this one, huh? Yeah. Wow, those are beautiful though. You don't have this one in 2XL? No, uh, it's no. one size. One size fits all, but it doesn't ever yeah, fit me. Too small for you. It's because everything is Thai size. Thai is Asian. Is Thai people? Tiny. Very tiny, huh? Okay, you have hats? Thai hats. Thai hats. Uh, Thailand, this is Thailand. I like Thailand hats. Ah, this Thailand. Oh, those are nice. Oh, these are beautiful. Uh, Hmm. Not really my style though. Yeah, it's raining hard, huh? Yeah. Okay. This is your shop too. 
the Green Island shop. Can I come inside? Let me buy something from you though first. You know what? Let me. I'll buy this hat. Yeah, why not? How much? Two fifty. That's expensive. No, you it's okay. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Yeah. You're very nice. Nepal? Oh, you're from Nepal. But uh, I live in. Uh, I was born in Myanmar. Oh, okay. In Nepal. My face look like Indian, no? No. No. I think. I think Nepali. Yeah, Nepali is different. Wait, where, where are you from in Nepal? Um, I'm Nepali, but I never been Nepal. Oh, okay. So you were you were oh, born in Nepal, yes. raised in yes, Myanmar. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. okay. There you go. I heard Nepal is a very beautiful country. Yes, mountain is very beautiful. Himalayas, huh? Yeah, yeah. You should go one day. One day, but you know, I love Thailand though. Thailand? Thailand's very nice. Nice, yeah, yeah. When it's not raining. Mm -hmm. You can enjoy, no? Yeah, I enjoy. Yeah. Thank you so much. But the tip box is closed. Why is the tip box closed? You want to give me tips? Of course. Thank you, sir. There you go. Kapunka. Kapunka. Yeah, yeah. Wait. You have to say Kapunka. Kapunka. Yeah, Kap, Kap, Kap is for the men. Yeah. Ka is for the women. And um, how do you say it in Myanmar again? Jizu Jemare. Jizu Jemare. In Myanmar language, no men, no women. Same, same? Same, same, yes. Oh, okay. You have to say like, Jizu Jemare. It's too long, you know? Yeah, it's very Jizu, long. Uh, you just say Jizu Jemare. Jizu Jemare. Awesome, thank you. Jizu uh, de Mare. Say hello is uh, Ming Lava. Ming Lava. Yeah. Ming Lava. I'm a natural. Yeah. Very good. Thank you so much. You're, You're so nice. I thank hope people you. come visit your shop. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go next door. Yeah, you can. Is that your friend working? Yeah, my brother. Oh, your brother? From the same mother? Same, same. No, they're not the same. Brother from another mother. Yeah. Ah, all right, I like that. Thank you. <laughs> I love talking to people, man. Yeah, she said it's her brother from another mother. All right. The green, uh, the green Island shop looks a little busy right now at the moment, but the rain will pass, guys. I mean, the rain here in Kotel, in Thailand in general, comes and goes 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and it's gone. Look at this. Look at this invention right here. The umbrella scooter duo. Only in Thailand. All right, we'll wait till the um, till the shop clears up, and then I'll run on in there and you know we'll purchase some goods. I'll show you guys around, and then hopefully by the time we make it on out, the weather's a lot a lot better. Now I've actually been eating breakfast over in this spot the last few days. Blue Shark, very great, very good um, restaurant, good food. You got like a hot pot barbecue over there. That's all you can eat. A burger shop in front. One of the things I really love about this island is that. You can find everything your heart desires on this island. I mean, they got Italian food, French food. You got bomb burger restaurants. Of course, all the local Thai favorites. Dairy Queen. There's a little bit for everybody here. It's awesome. It blows my mind that people just smash on their scooters even though it's raining. Actually, I might have stopped now. I think the wind is just going crazy. All right. You know what? Let's head on in. What's up, guys? Let's head on in and hey, my friend, what's up, bro? Good, and you? Doing good, man. Came back for another one of those brownies yeah. you gave me the other day. Yes, you want to take them out? Yeah, I'll let you handle this one first. Yes. Platinum Oreos, Hardcore Mac. How's the brownie? You like it? Wedding cake. Man, that brownie was crazy, bro. I was only eating it bits and pieces at a time. It's because. You know, the brownies are always a lot more different than when you smoke a J. Like, it just hits you all at once, and then you can't you can't run from it. It's like... Exactly. You got to let it just happen. How's business today? Not bad. Just quiet now. It's no season now, so... Yeah, you just got done with the busiest season. I love it. I love the shops here. I mean, nothing like the shops we have in California. They're all completely different. And it's nice that you can come in here and have like a personal feel. Just open up all the jars, talk to the people. In California, you can't do it like this. 
Yeah. What is this? Coffee? Yeah, coffee for the smile change. Oh, so when you can smell the different pot and yeah, when you smell that, and then when you smell like that another one, that another one is gonna be smell good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better. Are you from Nepal too? Yes, exactly. Man, beautiful country. Yeah. We're from Nepal, but I'm born in Burma. Oh, so you you were born in Myanmar, but yes. grew up in Nepal. I'm from Nepal. Yeah, I'm born in there. Nice. I heard Nepal got some good green too. Yeah. And they're also legal, so. It's legal in Nepal? Yeah. Don't play. I'm going there next. <laughs> <laughs> I came back to your shop because you got the coolest shop in Kotal. This yeah. place is awesome. Green Island. Green Island's the shit. And they give you samples. Watch, you guys are gonna see. They give you samples. It's awesome. Oh, this is the cream brulee. Yeah, French name. Oh, you making a movie, bro? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Just for the memory. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what it's all about, bro. Uh, what you like? High bridge. Huh? Like for the test. Hybrid? Yeah. Hybrid? Of course. Here you go. Thanks, man. You can come back to tell me how it is. Uh huh. <laughs> it's a new strain. I didn't say, right? Yeah, it is. I love how you're you're so passionate about your shop because you always ask everybody to come back and tell you how they feel. <laughs> Only for the test one because my, my boss made new strain, that's why. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Qu quality control. It's important. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Take care, bro. See ya. Enjoy the weed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get one more of those brownies from you, bro. Yeah, I'm not actually smoking at the moment. I'm trying to recuperate my lungs, man. Wow, this looks crazy, though. This yeah, is the Divine Slurica. Oh, this is new? Yeah. Wow. Indica 90%. Oof, that takes you to the moon. Yeah. All right. Um, how much are these ones? 250 for one. 250 for one? Yeah. Easy. Oh, you can pay with the QR code, too. Oh, this yeah. is for Google Review. And this is like a... Or like classic one. Bro, I'm gonna leave you a good review. Okay, you can give me. Let me see. Oh man. Can you help me out real quick? One, two, and three. Three. There you go, man. Three. Thank you. It's okay, keep the change, bro. Thank you very much, bro. I appreciate it. Oh, these here are the best brownies in Kotal, I'll tell you what. Appreciate it. Cool, man. Enjoy your day. Yeah. See you again yeah. soon. Yeah, have a nice day. You too. No, seriously. One of the best shops in the area. All right, well, the rain looked like it stopped. That was perfect timing. Let's get on out of here. Actually, you know what? We're gonna walk this way now. Let's get on out of here and start a little meander around. I'm gonna show you guys the area and show you guys a little bit of the main boardwalk and maybe we'll make it out onto the sand and I'll show you guys what the beach looks like. But this place, guys, um, is super windy right now. so. Right now we're protected kind of like from all of these shops and businesses along this road. However, if you actually make it on out to the sand where it's not protected, oh man, it gets it gets quite windy. So yeah, we're going to make our way back down this street. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I mean, honestly, I already know that there's plenty of you guys who are totally not into the whole the green life thing. However... This is very much a reality of not only Thailand nowadays, but also many parts of the world. So I like sharing those experience with it, experiences with you guys because there's plenty of you watching who are from countries that are very conservative and where you won't find, you know, shop selling on every corner. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that down below. But for now, we got a brownie and a half left and we're gonna continue on with our walk. Have a good one, bro. We're gonna continue on with our walk because 
obviously Kotel has a lot more to offer than just that however I found that very interesting coming back here and I figured why not let me share that with you guys because um, you know a lot of the things that I find interesting I'm not the only one finding interesting you guys also find interest in it as well which I'm super grateful for because it gives me purpose you know I'm out here chilling diving enjoying my best life in Thailand and I get to share these moments with you guys so yeah let's go on for a little meander here in this boulevard now oh this is what I'm saying look this place right here is called Porto Bello Mediterranean Bistro obviously a lot of stuff is very slow right now but come evening time man it gets good out here you know what I'm thinking I'm thinking it might also be like beer 30 right now it's time for a brewski but we'll get that right now along the way now here um, in Kotel mainly people come here to dive however you can find other water sports as well like you can go tubing you can go on boat cruises yacht cruises around the island take day trips out to I forget what the island is called near nearby I think it's called Mango Bay and if you're not into any water sports you can come and just hang out this is a very beautiful place but I must say it's definitely catered towards the backpacking culture backpacking communities but what I really love about this island as a whole is that even though it is super touristic nowadays it's also still a place where you can find an authentic Thai experience you know what let's veer off into this direction I want to show you guys what the beach is looking like bear with me on the wind right now but we won't hang out here too long I just want to show you guys what the beach looks like because it is gorgeous now there's all kinds of resorts hotels along the waterfront that's what you're viewing right here that's the pool area of one and they get quite I mean they're very affordable as well I'm actually staying in a spot right now that's about 25 US dollars a night and you can find cheaper last year when I was on the island I was staying here for roughly 15 dollars a night and in a very beautiful spot with air conditioning right on the beach but yeah this here is Kotel oh man what a place guys no seriously being here puts a smile on my face it's just such an amazing part of the world I mean look at this beach this here is Sadi Beach you got palm trees rock formations all of these are little like boats that take you out to the big dive boats that you see out into the distance nah this is living man this is living no seriously hopefully by the time you guys see this video there'll still be a few like spots left for the group trip here in Kotel that I'm doing next month but if not you guys definitely got to make sure one of my next ones because this place is impressive and it's something that everyone should should witness in their lifetime now I'll also talk to you guys a little bit about the controversial stuff that took place here on the island that a lot of people actually disagree with I'm trying to block the microphone with my body now but um yeah actually you know what let's just knock that out right now because I know a lot of you guys are gonna leave comments so um, Kotel has also built up a kind of a rough reputation as well a lot of people consider this place well there's been people that have made documentaries and videos calling this place Death Island and that is because well there has been incidents of oh man I hope you guys can hear me you know what let's wait till we get up on the road but yeah the wind is extremely strong it's been like this the last few days actually but um, basically yeah there has been some incidents that have taken place here on the island even before my first visit in 2017 where you know people have disappeared and people have lost their lives on this island um, but you also have to and I'm, you know I'm not gonna speak too much about those things you got to do research on the incidents that took place here because they're very sad and unfortunate and no one deserves to be put in a situation like that what's up bro <laughs> Hello. I might come back later I was looking for some tattoos earlier so I walked by all these shops looking to get some tattoos but yeah basically you know there's been quite a bit of people that have lost our lives here on this island so the island has kind of built up a bad reputation due to that but I feel like you know people always emphasize 
on the negative things about any place in the world. Same thing happens to Mexico and plenty of places in South America. And then it kind of takes away from all of the positives in a place. So yeah, there has been things that have happened here, but you got to realize too that millions of people come to this island every year and millions go home just fine. So, you know, um, all respect though to all of those family members who might be watching this video um, who have lost a loved one here. Yeah, my condolences to you guys. And that's exactly why I wanted to mention that. That way it doesn't feel like I'm just making this place out to seem like the most amazing place in the world, even though it is in my opinion. Um, there have been people here who have lost their lives on this island, but um, same thing goes for many other touristic places in the world, guys. I mean, things happen everywhere, unfortunately. And it sucks that you know, things like that happen, but they do. And it's just a very much, it's just a, it's very much a reality of most touristic places in the world. There's things that go, that go wrong, things that have happened. But to say that a place is just a complete disaster or a nightmare, you know, ruins a lot of other lives as well because Hotel is very much a beautiful and friendly place. It's just, there's been some unfortunate circumstances man i hope that made sense it's always so hard for me to talk about those those topics because i'm a very respectful person too like and i like to look at everything from every angle so the reason why i even brought that up right now in this video that's supposed to be a nice fun video is because i know that there's people out there who are related to these people who have lost their lives here who are going to be watching this video and are going, are, want, are going to want to hear that being mentioned because they lost someone truly special in this place that so many of us come out to and enjoy so out of respect that's the reason why that was mentioned now yeah you're going to find a lot of uh bungalows and places to sleep like this one here like this one has a hammock beautiful view of the of the ocean every single morning i need to stay in a place like that next time around you know what i should have started filming this video way earlier um before the wind and storm rolled on in because to be honest it was very calm and chill out here during the day but right now it's getting brutal i don't understand but yeah these here are all like resorts eco resorts you got a bunch of bungalows over in this direction as well a lot of places for accommodation this is seriously one of those islands i recommend you want to to come on out to if you're looking to just escape the big city resort life you can come out to Kotel and you get a real laid back kind of feel obviously if you want the party you can find it if you just simply want to lounge around by yourself and not do much you can find that here as well now as i mentioned a lot of people come here to do diving guys if you're one of those people who have never dove in their life i recommend coming on out to Kotel go on a try dive or do a fun dive and then you know quite possibly advance your skills and become an open water diver or an advanced diver like um i actually came out here and did last year and now i'm one of those people who dude i suffer from like anxiety like crazy especially in certain environments being under the water is one of them so i was like super terrified about diving and last year when i came i actually came out here to dive but i was actually contemplating doing it and once i did man it was one of the best feelings I have, I have ever had and now I'm addicted to it and I try and do it as much as I can everywhere in the world that I go so consider facing your fears man it's awesome all right now we're entering a part of the strip now where you find a lot of like bars restaurants wineries as I mentioned this whole this whole um, island is just super diverse. There's something for everyone. Look, here's an advertisement for a jungle party with two stages on rodeo in a rodeo ride. Now, most people when they come out to this island, they rent scooters. Scooter rentals can cost anywhere between 250 to 400 baht per day. And most of the places actually don't require an international driver's license at all, but they do require a deposit of roughly 3,000 bots, um, like 100 US dollars, or you leaving your passport behind. 
in exchange for the deposit. Oh, these massage places look awesome. Look, Thai massage 300 baht, oil massage 300 baht, coconut oil massage 300, foot and face massage 300, manicure pedicure 200. Six dollars for a mani pedi. Not bad. But, um, yeah, there's some prices to keep in mind. Now, you can actually get all the way to Kotel. There's not really a real easy way to get here, but it's pretty accessible from any parts of Thailand from Phuket you can get here between a bus and ferry combination and also from Bangkok however this time around I landed in Koh Samui and from Koh Samui I took a $20 ferry roughly three hours to the island of Koh Tao so I definitely recommend coming on out here visiting this island when in Thailand you will not be disappointed and I mean even if you're not into diving come on out here have a nice little massage party party look at all the different massage houses you can spend a nice little bit of time on a in a bungalow right on the beach oh man this is brutal right now i'm getting like sand in my eye so i put the sunglasses back on but yeah overall a great place you know what guys i think this video is gonna unfortunately have to come to an end soon i don't know why every time i pick up the camera weather goes rough on me but um i hope you enjoyed this little this little meander around the green island here in thailand that's literally what they have changed the island name to the green island um not literally but all of the advertisements for this place that's what you're seeing everywhere on the internet green island of thailand but yeah look more hotels you got a lot of hostels here as well there's hostels that range in prices from anywhere between like seven us dollars a night all the way up to 20 but as i mentioned you can get hotels for 15 dollars a night and then of course find plenty that are ranging into the couple hundred dollars a night oh man i'm getting stuff all up in my eyes no weather's getting crazy right now what the heck but yeah this here is kotal guys a beautiful island paradise located in the gulf of thailand i hope you guys enjoyed this video i think for now i'm going to put the camera down because to be honest it's quite brutal out here putting on the sunglasses because there's just so much sand flying in my face from the coast and you know hopefully that that brownie don't hit too hard because i just ate a couple pieces of that bad boy and i don't want any surprises <laughs> but yeah tomorrow heading back down to the beautiful um, area of Phuket where I'm gonna be spending the next week and a half while of my trip here in Thailand and yeah I'll see you guys from there with another great video from Thailand most beautiful country in the world <laughs> in my opinion in my opinion honestly I love every place but Thailand ooh, dude that sand hurt but Thailand truly a special one all right guys well i gotta put this camera down because that sand is brutal i mean look at how everything's just blowing right now look at that tree it's going crazy all right you know what i'm making a run for it Whew. this is kind of a bummer because i just had plans to meet up with mitch my boy kiwi to have some drinks and this wind is brutal all right guys well that actually hurt it felt like sand i was getting hit with a sand blaster all right guys well i'll see you again soon for another video from here in thailand hope you guys enjoyed this little meander around the island of Koh Tao. later guys